Hello, my name is Achim Knappig. I'm the head of research and development at ABD Serotech. ABD Serotech is part of Biorad, a well known supplier of life science products for research and diagnostics. It is my pleasure today to explain to you how we at ABD Serotech develop special types of antibodies, anti idiotypic antibodies, which have specific applications in the field of therapeutic antibody development and patient monitoring. First, I would like to define the term anti-idiotypic. This expre expression is derived from the term idiotope, which are the parts of an antibody that make an antibody unique. These determinants are part of the variable portion of an antibody and most often part of the antigen binding site. If an antibody binds to another antibody by binding to the idiotope, such an antibody is named anti-idiotypic antibody. Anti-idiotypic antibodies will specifically bind to one particular antibody, e.g. an antibody drug, and can therefore be used to measure drug levels in patient samples. Depending on the binding mode, we distinguish three types of drug-specific antibodies, which are shown on this slide. The classical anti-idiotypic antibody, here shown as an FAB fragment, binds to the paratope of the drug antibody. Since it competes with the drug target binding site, it is inhibitory. It can be used to detect free drug in serum, i.e. drug that is not bound to the target antigen. We have named this type 1. Type 2 binds to an idiotope outside the antigen binding site of the drug. Therefore, it is not inhibitory and can be used to detect both free and bound drug in serum. The type 3 antibodies are a very special class of reagents. They are not anti-idiotypic, but bind specifically to the complex of drug bound to its target. They neither bind the free drug nor the free drug target. Only the complex is recognized. Consequently, they can be used to detect bound drug in serum. Moreover, they can be used to quantify drug in serum without the need for establishing a bridging assay format. Drug-specific anti-idiotypic antibodies can be used to establish and calibrate immune response assays, since they behave like natural human antibodies developed by patients against the drug. Measuring the immune response to a drug, i.e. the development of anti-drug antibodies, or ADA, is a prerequisite of regulatory authorities during drug development. A typical bridging assay format using an anti idiotypic antibody as an ADA surrogate is shown. Further, anti idiotypic antibodies provide an important solution to a problem central to antibody drug development. When a human or humanized antibody drug is given to a patient, the drug disappears within the high concentration of serum antibodies that are all very similar molecules. Typically, the drug concentration is a million fold lower than the serum antibody concentration, making it difficult to quantify the drug. In order to measure drug levels, highly specific and highly sensitive reagents are needed that specifically bind to the drug but not to the vast excess of similar immunoglobulin molecules. Several possible assay formats have been developed to determine antibody drug concentration. The antigen capture assay relies on the fact that the drug specifically binds to its drug target. This binding can be measured if the drug target is immobilized. Such assays require the availability of the purified drug target in a native form. There may be background issues with this assay format since patient serum may contain autoantibodies against the drug target and the anti-FC detection reagent will react with all human antibodies present in the sample. The second assay is a bridging assay utilizing anti idiotypic antibodies. It is named bridging assay since the drug to be measured bridges the capture and the detection reagents due to its bivalent nature. An anti-idiotypic antibody is immobilized with low density and captures the drug specifically from serum samples. The bound drug is then quantified with a second labeled anti-idiotypic antibody that will bind to the free idiotope of the drug. The last assay shown here is a combination of the first two. The drug is first captured with an anti-idiotypic antibody and then the bound drug is quantified with the labeled antigen. In the coming slides, I will explain how ABD Serotech develops anti idiotypic antibodies. ABD Serotech uses a synthetic antibody library as source for anti idiotypic antibodies. This library is used in vitro for selection of any specificity without involving animals. 
During this selection on an antigen, other substances can be added as blockers to avoid selection of unwanted specificities. In the case of anti-idiotypic antibodies, subclass matched antibodies are added as blockers, thereby avoiding enrichment of specificity that bind to other regions of the antibody drug. The selection protocol can be fine-tuned in order to identify antibodies that bind to the drug when complexed with its target. Such specificities are useful for quantification of total drug as opposed to free drug levels. The antibody generation itself is a highly automated and quick process. It takes only 8 weeks to select, purify and test FAB antibodies from the library. Such antibodies typically have very high affinity, which correspondingly allows for the development of sensitive assays. Each antibody can be further optimized using genetic engineering, for instance to further increase the affinity. Selected antibodies are truly monoclonal, and each antibody can be produced over and over again with consistent quality. The library is comprised of human antibodies, which allows further development of the antibodies for use as calibrators and controls for immunogenicity assays, when the immune response of a patient to an antibody drug is measured. Each anti-idiotypic antibody can be, can be converted to any human antibody isotype for such assays. The antibody library that we use is referred to as UCAL, short for Human Combinatorial Antibody Library. It is one of the most successful antibody platforms in the pharmaceutical industry. UCAL Platinum is a synthetic human antibody library with 45 billion members, which has been generated using trinucleotide cassettes to diversify the CDR regions. Specific antibodies are selected by a process named SysDisplay, a modified improved phage display method. Returning to the development of anti-idiotypic antibodies. As an example, the development of anti-idiotypic antibodies against the drug Herceptin or Trastuzumab is shown. For the selection process, the drug was immobilized on magnetic beads and incubated with the Huca library displayed on phage. An IgG subclass matched blocking antibody plus human serum was added during incubation thereby removing all Heuchel antibodies that bind non idiotypic regions of the drug antibody or that are cross-reactive to serum components. After the selection process, enriched antibodies were screened for their specific binding to Herceptin in an ELISA. As shown in the figure, 11 antibodies were identified that bind to Herceptin, but not to other drugs of the same isotype and not to human serum. In general terms, we apply different processes of antibody selection depending on the type of anti-drug antibody we want to select. For type 1, we use the protocol that I explained in the slide before. For type 2 and 3, we perform the antibody selection on the drug target complex. As blockers, we add again isotype match control antibodies. Further, we add the drug target to make sure we don't select target-specific antibodies. With two anti Herceptin type 1 antibodies, a PK assay was established. For this figure, the bridging assay format was applied. One of the anti idiotypic antibodies in FAB, FAB format was immobilized on a microtiter plate at a concentration of 1 microgram per mil. Herceptin, spiked in human serum, was added at increasing concentrations. After washing, the bound Herceptin was detected with a second anti idiotypic antibody which had been converted to the full-length human IgG1 format and labeled with horse radish peroxidase. The signal is given as fluorescent units recorded from an ELISA reader. About 10 nanogram per mil of drug in 10% human serum can be reliably de detected with this assay. The dynamic range here is almost two orders of magnitude. Both anti-idiotypic antibodies used here have very high affinities for Herceptin in the low picomolar range. Both can be purchased from ABD Serotech. Here, the specificity of a type 3 antibody binding to the drug Alilimumab bound to its target TNF-alpha is shown. Various antigens, including TNF-alpha, were coded at 5 microgram per mil on a microtiter plate overnight. The wells were washed and blocked with BSA. For the antigen complexes, either Alilimumab or Infliximab was then added to the TNF-alpha coated wells. After additional washing, HRP conjugated type 3 antibody was added in a dilution series. Detection was performed using fluorogenic peroxidase substrate. 
Therefore, this type 3 antibody only binds the complex of adalimumab bound to its target TNF-alpha. Neither adalimumab nor TNF-alpha or the complex of the TNF-alpha drug infliximab is recognized. As mentioned, the type 3 antibodies can be used to develop sensitive assays without the need of the bridging assay format. Here, a so-called antigen capture assay is shown. Human TNF-alpha was coated on a microtiter plate and adalimumab spiked into human serum was added in the given concentrations. The complex formed was detected either with HRP labeled type 3 UCAL antibody directly, shown with the black curve, or by adding first the unlabeled type 3 UCAL antibody and then an HRP labeled antihistec antibody, shown with the red curve. Regardless of the detection, this assay format provides a robust and sensitive assay curve. As mentioned, anti-ediotypic antibodies can be converted into full-length human immunoglobulins for the development of assays to measure the immune response to an antibody drug. For this, the gene segments encoding the variable domains of the anti-ediotypic antibody are transferred to an expression vector that adds the corresponding gene segments of the antibody constant domains. A mammalian cell culture is transfected with this vector for the production of the full-length antibody. AUD Zerotech offers conversion of FAB antibodies into all human IgG subclasses, as well as the IgA, IgE and IgM isotypes. This figure demonstrates the development of an immune response, or IR assay, using an anti herceptin antibody. The anti ediotypic antibody is used here as a surrogate for anti herceptin antibodies that might be developed by a patient. For this assay, the drug is immobilized and the anti herceptin antibody in serum is added in increasing concentrations. The bound anti herceptin antibody was detected by adding herceptin labeled with HRP. The response curve depends on the affinity of the anti drug antibody, which is shown in this example. Again, a bridging assay was established, this time using three different anti cetuximab antibodies which have affinities between 0.5 and 10.5 nanomolar. Under identical conditions, the curves reflect the binding strength of the anti-drug antibodies to its target, cetuximab. To summarize, the use of the HUCAL technology for the development of anti ediotypic antibodies has several advantages over other more traditional methods of antibody generation. First, the method is fast. It usually takes only 8 weeks from project start to delivery of purified FAB antibodies. Second, as shown, the antibody selection can be driven towards anti ediotypic antibodies by adding blockers during the process. Third, it also had been shown that very rare specificities, like antibodies that recognize the drug target complex, but neither the drug nor the target, can be isolated broadening the possibilities for assay development. Fourth, since human serum is added as a blocker during the selection process, cross-reactivity to components of human serum is not expected. Fifth, it is possible to select antibodies covering a wide range of affinities, which is useful for mimicking the human immune response to drug antibodies. Sixth, finally, the anti-ediotypic antibodies can be converted into many human isotypes which makes them useful reference standards for immune response assays. There are several ways to access anti-ediotypic antibodies selected from QCOL. First, ABD Serotech has developed a range of ready-made anti-ediotypic antibodies against marketed antibody drugs, which are available through our online catalog. Several have already been launched and more will come in the near future. Second, ABD Serotech has collaborated with the company Proteomica to develop ready-to-use kits for patient monitoring and immunogenicity testing. The current portfolio comprises kits for Infliximab, Humira, Enbrel and Rituximab. Please visit the Proteomica website for more information. Third, ABD Serotech offers custom antibody generation. Recombinant fully human antiditypic antibodies generated using the HUCAL technology are a highly specific and sensitive tool that enable the development of PK and immunogenicity assays for effective preclinical research and clinical monitoring. Contact us to discuss how we can make an antibody specific to your drug, biosimilar or other molecule of interest. We look forward to hearing from you.